Greetings everyone, in this video we'll be looking at NC Level 3 Probability Distributions Achievement Standard. In my previous videos, I've already covered uh, binomial and uh, Poisson distributions for finding the unknown probabilities. If you haven't already, please do check those videos out. And in this video, I'll be focusing on inverse uh, Poisson distribution. In the assessments, uh, the problems will require you to find the uh, mean value. So we'll have a look at the example, uh, and in this uh, question it says the number of uh, topographical errors uh, per page in a big textbook is modeled by a Poisson distribution. The editor found that 65% uh, of pages he reviewed had at least one error. And then the question says, uh, what is the mean number of errors per page? So you'll be familiar with some of the keywords that are associated with uh, each of the inequalities. And in this question, it says at least one error. So that means uh, probability when x is greater than or equal to 1. And if I list the discrete values that uh, x can take, so it starts at 0, 0 means uh, 0 errors per page, and then 1 error per page, 2 errors per page, etc. And it could have infinite number of errors per page. So um, using this, uh, we can see that um, greater than or equal to 1 means uh, everything but 0. So I've got everything there covered and uh, we are left with a zero. Take the complement. I can then uh, say that probability when x is greater than or equal to 1 is same as 1 minus probability when x is exactly equal to 0 because the total probability will always add to 1. So if I go 1 whole minus probability when it's exactly equal to zero will leave you with the uh, probability that the question has uh, uh, mentioned. So in this question, we are already given that the probability when x is greater than or equal to one is 0 0.65. So 0 0.65 is uh, equal to one minus probability when it's exactly zero. And then uh, from this, we can rearrange and find the uh, probability when it's um, exactly equal to zero which comes to uh, 0 0.35 so what this means is uh, that uh, if 65% uh, of the pages uh, the editor reviewed had at least one error then 35% of the pages reviewed will have uh, zero errors and then uh, using the uh, formula I can start substituting the uh, information that's given so in this case uh, I know that um, the probability when x is equal to zero is 0 0.35 so substituting uh, x value of 0 so e to the power of minus lambda and lambda is what i'm asked to calculate it says mean number of uh, errors so e to the power of minus lambda lambda to the power of x and x is 0 in this case divided by x factorial and x is 0 in this case as well and uh, please do remember anything raised to the power of 0 is 1 and 0 factorial is 1 so they will uh, cancel out and uh, that simplifies to 0 0.35 which is the probability when it's exactly equal to zero which we have calculated here so 0 0.35 is equal to e to the power of minus lambda and then uh, we'll take ln on both sides natural log on both sides so that will give you ln 0 0.35 is equal to minus lambda ln and uh, e the inverse functions they'll cancel out ln Point three five uh, gives you uh, negative lambda and then uh, this negative will cancel out so you'll see that uh, it's same as 1.05 which is our lambda value and that leaves you with a lambda value of 1.05 you can also use equation solver on graphics calculator to get the uh, result so I'll quickly show you that so from the main menu select uh, equations and uh, solver so equation solver and then type in your equation so we've got uh, e to the power of so shift ln will give you e so e to the power of uh, minus lambda and lambda is unknown variable x in this case so is equal to so shift um, dot so is equal to 0 0.35 which is the probability and then uh, and then you can see that it gives you x value of 1.049 and if i round this to two decimal places the average is 1.05 so either way you'll get the same answer and then we'll write the answer in context the textbook has a mean of uh, 1.05 uh, errors per page thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video